Hey guys, welcome to another voiceover. My name is I'm <laughs> my name is Sakimi Chan, and for this term's voiceover, I will be painting the character Ula. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing her name properly, but um, but I wanted to um, paint her, and um, her design speaks to me. I kind of dig the whole. Uh, super short shorts um, look with the high-rise boots and the color scheme is just down my alley I really like the blue tone so I got the reference right there and I've already prepped uh, everything up so backgrounds done a um, bunch of a bunch of uh, photos that I found I put them together some from Adobe stock some from Google um, but yes, they are all placed to give this look that I currently have. And the, 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 the concept that I'm trying to go for for this piece is um, something similar to those um, old classical paintings of kings or princesses. I kind of wanted to do something similar with Ula. So, because since she does have a pretty regal design, so... I wanted to see if I can um, kind of incorporate her regalness with that theme. So that's why I try to include like a photo frame in the back and like a vase or vase, vase or vase. And uh, let's go from there. Um, hopefully the background will work out. If not, then I will have to play around with that a little bit later. Let's bring this up. All right, so I try to minimize the amount of layers that I'm going to be using, so all the body will be on one single layer. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. I already have a specific look in mind, so hopefully I will be able to achieve it. I'm gonna try to make it look. Uh, have the paint painting vibe classical painting vibe uh, let's see how well I can make that happen uh, I'm not super confident I can make that happen because usually I tend to kind of tilt towards one uh, style uh, but uh, we shall see at least uh, it will be a little bit easier for me to do this since since I have uh, most of the the body layer on one single l l body elements on one single layer, uh, usually I tend to use a lot of layers just to make the process easier to edit and such. Um, but let's try this out as well. And, you know, um, maybe after I kind of paint on it a bit make it progress a bit then I will switch over to cutting uh, some of these elements and put it on separate layers um, but yeah I'm trying to trying to experiment with this new workflow hopefully it makes the process a bit faster and as always I am basically you know kind of doing my own thing uh, you could say kind of pin up being fi pin up fi the character. Okay, let me just got that. And as for the sleeve, I had in mind a uh, transparent design. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it this color. Mm. Okay, let me just uh, go ahead and do a flat color for now. And for down here. Oh gosh, I'm okay, let's just do this. For down here, I think I will go with a sheer look for now. And of course, we get the stocking. Let's go ahead, quickly shade that in. 
Okay, there's a lot of detail going on, but uh, I will have to work on that a little later. It's just a lot of detail. This character's got some concentrated areas with where where fifty percent of the like the details are, and the rest of the area is a bit more simpler. Uh, so we're gonna have to take it step by step first. Actually, let me go ahead and do the hair. I'm just going to be very broad with the first pass. It's always good to work uh, work your way from really rough to more refined. Um, I think bef when I first started out digital art, I actually try to put a lot of detail into the face first and instead of doing a general pass overall on the character I kind of just zoned in and tunnel vision on one area which I believe is kind of a common uh, thing for digital artists sometimes well at least I think when you first start out um, which actually can can be pretty pretty bad because you know tunnel vision on one part and then and then uh, what if you work on that part and then afterwards you're not happy with it and then you're like oh I don't want to work on the rest of the picture because the face isn't great which uh, in the past that's what happened to me um, but I do hear about other artists experience and you know what they have some pretty similar experience to mine and that's why I said that uh, you know it's a common I consider it a mistake and uh, it's better to kind of do an overall thing bit by bit and then focus on it afterwards um, but yeah I want to make sure that the cape is rendered out nice and fabric like like those classical paintings um, of royalty with their fancy capes the paintings back in the days were so pretty and the rendering of fabrics were great so I tried to have that uh, try to do that um, but yeah just doing a first pass now for the sword so the sword the drill is I'm not gonna do this from scratch for sure but I will do like a little um, shape there just to block it in and of course with the hand too um, the sword gonna take a photo I mean from photo or a guy or 3d render and then I'm gonna paint over it um, that way it's easier for me to get that done and it's gonna get um, nice structure as well so I don't have to kind of spend too much time on it because uh, that weaponry and stuff like that is my weakness and uh, I tend to focus on more character elements so I just uh, make it efficient by using a 3D model or something like that to paint over which actually is a very common practice uh, okay so I got kind of like the basic done I'm going to now going to overlay let's overlay a bit of blue on this side and overlay some bright color uh, here and uh, let's overlay a bit of blue at the very bottom have a bit of that under the bra as well maybe over here and contour the abdomen a bit contour the hip uh, okay and um, I'm going to 
darken it once more. Let's add a bit of this color over here. And uh, now I'm going to do intense intense lighting. Um, I wonder if I should make a... I'm trying to decide um, how I'm going to do the lighting. Let me darken the face up. Bring some of that color up here too. Let's uh, take a bit of this. Bring up the gradient onto the the hair. I quite like where this is going. And um, let's add a bit of uh, highlight around the sleeve. And let's add some some uh, okay some highlight. Is this where my intense highlight is gonna be? And this is the hip, and it's gonna have an intense highlight drop, like this maybe. Okay, let's see how that will look. Mm. I'm aiming to make this more of a anime style piece. So, uh, I guess this should be okay. Um, so that's the base color that I'm going for. Let's make this a little bit, make the lines disappear a bit more. Now I'm going to do another pass of the, uh, do another pass for the button here. Do a pass for the shadow. Okay. Darken. And I'm gonna, let's see if I can layer it up a bit. Do one like this. A bit here. And I uh, have some highlights on here. Go back to the cape and let's see here. I'm going to um, darken this area, inverse. Lighten the rest of the area. And um, let me darken this. Lighten this area as for the bralette part um, definitely need to make sure that it's a bit brighter so that the white part of the the white fabric stands out a bit more basically um, I'm going to include a bit of beige color as well um, place it uh, 
sparingly. Okay, it's pretty. It's pretty uh <laughs> messy. Let me take this real quick. Highlight that. Lock down the shape. Okay, there's uh, actually some detail going on here, which I'm going to work on uh, a little later. First, I'm going to draw the chest and then gradually move on to um, like overlapping details. Let's go here. It's, uh, I'm going to darken the chest a bit. Let's go ahead, lower the lines a bit more using the airbrush to do this. I'm being purposely uh, muddy with my shading for now. Going to look back and forth at this. Let's go here, line it. So we're going to focus on the chest and slowly add more details from there. Mm. Oh, actually. Let's go ahead and connect the sleeve part to there. I'm going to imply a bit of skin tone underneath the sleeve by simply adding a bit of skin tone to the sleeve. And let's add a bit of shadow. Blend the highlight over. Take that color, bring it in. Uh, let's go for a bit of a rosy color. Select. I'm going to contour it slightly with a darker color. Darker color underneath. And around here, I'm just going to shade it a bit, bring up the highlight up. Do the other chest side. Add some shadow. Just gonna try to blend, blend it in, invert. Sh darken that, add a bit of shadow underneath. Take a bit of this color. And shade it. In softly, it's going with the smudge tool a bit, smudge it up. Let's 
go back to airbrush and blend in the chest. I'm going to add a bit of shadow here. And uh, bring forth, a clean up the line there. Um, select here, line the fabric for the bra. I'm going to add a bit of yellow. And um, mm, should I put it here? I'll put it underneath. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna blend it in. And let's look at the design real quick. So it's got a bit of seam work going on in on the tops. So um, step by step, include the lines first. One closest to the lining. One where her the center of her breast is, and one here, I guess. making it a bit more revealing like that let's remove the lines okay let me move the reference a bit closer okay so I can uh, have a look at it while I do this uh, let's add a bit of beige under let me contour this a bit better with the shadow uh, add a bit of this tone down below and followed by shadow and followed by skin with a bit of shadow around and uh, let's add a tiny bit of highlight as well around the chest let me go ahead contour that part you know what um Let's contour this part, add shadow, and let me just go ahead do that. Okay, I might uh, work on it a bit. Um, let me go ahead darken this up actually, this part on the top. Oh wait, it looks muddy. My, uh, my tablet drive is really buggy um, because they stopped updating it. So after I updated my Windows 10, it started having issue of loose of pressure and stuff like that. So sometimes it's kind of annoying. Uh, so that's why it's very important when you're painting to have a good tablet. Because if you don't, then there might be issues like this where it makes your painting process a lot more difficult. Uh, but yeah, I'm just uh, trying to see if I can paint this part a little better. Let's go ahead and grab that part. Bright, uh, 
going to brighten, let's go into hue saturation. Brighten that part. A loss of pressure there again happened. Oh well, I will have to. Uh, I might have to buy another tablet, even though this one is new. Because of this issue, is um, takes a bit more time to paint. Uh, but yeah, let's see if this looks a little better. Continue to add the detail of the seam. Let's go ahead and continue that. So uh, the seam is basically shadow, highlight, shadow in that pattern. Just to create a bit of fabric-like look. Mm -hmm. Okay, after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take this entire part. Make it a little brighter. Okay, take the skin tone and kind of have that on the character. Take a bit of this color. And sculpt out the elbow. Let's go ahead and use a bit of shadow here. Take a bit of this. Blue tone and I'm going to incorporate it into the skin because I'm going for Go ahead, drag it down. Going for a more uh, balanced skin tone look, especially in this type of setting or image setting where there's a lot of blue in the environment. So we're going to have quite a bit of that on the character as well. Let me grab a highlight. We're going to go with a warm tone highlight. Take this, bring it over here. Let's go ahead and make it warmer. Blend this out. I flip the canvas so that I can have a look, see what's going on, and uh, see what needs to be edited. I'm going to edit the shape of the chest a bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of work down here on the waist area. So there's quite a bit of detail on that part. Uh, what I'm going to do is just do a standard, do it uh, monotone. So no additional detail, just trying to make sure the anatomy is nice and all. And then I will uh, add all the little details later. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to contour out, or at least try my best to render out the anatomical detail for the character as best as I can. 
Funny thing is, I used to be uh, pretty bad at painting female abs. I used to paint a lot of uh, male abs, so I thought it was, well, it was very difficult, let's just say. Um, but now, you know, it's kind of the opposite. Now I paint more female characters. And um, if you're wondering when that was, that time where I painted more male characters, that was probably more than 10 years ago, I think. So I started out drawing a lot of female characters, you know, just sketching uh, during school and stuff like that when I was pretty much a kid or early teens I did a lot of female characters and then you know I wanted to draw more male characters and then my male characters you know at that time looked like female characters so I just kind of stopped drawing female characters drew only male characters for that period of time um, I drew a lot of Naruto stuff I was really into Naruto and uh, I think I actually build build uh, my audience on DeviantArt through drawing Naruto fan art at that time, and of course, gradually I drew less and less of that and started drawing fantasy f theme art and more female characters. So it's a lot of back and forth, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the first path path for her torso and uh, I'm gonna focus on the anatomical part of it it needs to look really really good so I'm going to be working on it until I'm happy with it let's have a look so essentially she's got you know what to make it smexy I should do this <laughs> I should give her a leotard I should do that and I will do a safer work version of course <laughs> let me see how this would look yeah of course leotard always looks good when you're curvy um, yeah I think I will go with this you know what I will go with this and I will do a safer work or more safer work version uh, without the leotard. I mean, with more shorts than leotard. Okay. Let's at least give a bit more covering. And I have to make sure still the anatomy is good. So I think uh, let's go ahead and add a bit more shadow here. Let's work on the drape a bit. So um, I'm gonna be a bit like liberal with the design here because um, I do kind of wanted to make it kind of seem like one of those classical paintings with the drapery and stuff so um, the design might be a little different um, but hopefully I can pull off what I want so I want to uh, try to see if I can uh, can kind of make this feel like those draperies in those paintings you see classical paintings you see so <laughs> hopefully I get that across so I already got a base going I'm just going to slowly add shadow and whatnot let's go for this color for shadow I do have a bit of inspiration reference, um, but it's not exactly of the specific drape position in mind. It's more like a guide for uh, shadow and stuff. 
So we're gonna have pretty strong rim light in each of the fold. Okay, let me do this. Let's go ahead and indicate oh a strong shadow and then have some rim light over here and then we're gonna have strong highlight here okay maybe not that maybe I'll <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> allergies. Let me do that. And then we're gonna have a strong highlight over here. With shadow again and rim light on this side. Rim light here, and then again with the shadow, make it nice and prominent, and with some more highlight here. Get a bit of shadow going on here. A bit more shadow. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do this. Shadow here bring this shadow all the way down here have a bit of rim light oh, needs to be a little darker have a bit of rim light gradually go like this and then I'll put another side here let's go ahead and uh, hold on let me do this add shadow underneath And then another highlight here. Take this, blend that in a bit. Another drape here. Slightly brighter this time. And we have shadow here. Rim light on the other side. Have a bit more shadow here. All right, so so with this, it does feel a bit more drapery-ish like. Let me select that side with the lasso tool, then the other side, go ahead and put shadow, and add some highlight.
and that will do the other side. I'm gonna go here and work on this a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the shadow, a bit more shadow around this area. Then we have the rim light. Then some more shadow underneath this. Drag this up. Add some more shadow around here. Okay, probably need to add just a bit of shadow here. So it's not super that bright. Okay, so let's take this and extend this slightly so I'm gonna bring this down going here I'm going to add a bit more to here too so take uh, the highlight here Add that in. Okay, so now I probably need to clean this area up too. So let's do a this delete delete okay that makes well actually maybe I should just keep it actually it makes more sense like that okay okay so now remove this and this Trying to see what I can do for the other side. Maybe we could have like one side dangling and stuff. Uh, like this. And uh, I'm just gonna roughly put a base down. Let's go ahead. Add a bit of highlight. I'm going to add a secondary highlight here. Then add the shadow. Add a bit of highlight here, shadow underneath. Take the shadow. Blend that in. Let's do another shadow underneath that one. And let's do this. Add a bit of rim light under it. 
I can do something similar to this. Merge down, so this is gonna be the base and make it a little brighter. Let's uh, increase the contrast a bit. So now that I have the base to go off of, um, I'm going to start including a bit of the environmental color such as the blue especially on this side so i'm gonna start by adding a bit of blue in here maybe towards the uh, right side I'm going to go ahead, use the lasso tool and kind of help me. So adding a bit more. Oh, that's a bit too dark. I'll just do like that. Let's add some rim light on the side here. Let's pop up the Okay, so with the sword, it's gonna look like this. Just trying to figure out how I would do this composition and whatnot. Yeah, probably something like that. Let me flip it. Let's go ahead and uh, add, or try my best to refine it a bit. Uh, let me check. Okay, so the actual design looks like this. Oh, okay, I'm going to try to make it more like this after I finish the base. Okay. Back to the cape. So. So add a bit of detail there. Just going to blend this in. I'm not sure what to do with this. Let me see if I can fold it like that let's go here and then it's going to flow into this part and what I'll do is indicate a bit of rim light on this side take this darker color it like that and then add a bit of shadow here blend it in with the uh, airbrush tool just gonna drag this over this highlight over a bit Add a bit of shadow here. Take a bit of this color, the blue color, and use it slightly. Just 
blend blend that in. Blend the rest of this area in. I'm going to take this color, bring forth, make it kind of sharp. Add a bit of rim, rim light here. Add shadow next. I'm gonna make it sharp, sharp shadow here. and sharp here oh uh, hmm maybe I can add a bit more volume here just a bit of highlight with shadow and then rim light. Take a bit of this color. Let me just blend this part in. Clean that area up. Let's add a bit of shadow there. Add a bit of shadow here. Cast it from this flap onto here. Just kind of cleaning stuff up, refining. Let's go here, extend this a bit, blend this in a bit more, let's take a bit of this color, blend it out slightly, take this darker color. Blend, blend, blend. Take a bit of this color. Add it on the side here. Mm. Let me go ahead and darken. Okay, I have to figure something out for this area. Let's extend this up. Darken that whole part. Take a bit of this. Add a bit of shadow there. Actually, a bit more subtle like that. Continue to blend. Uh, let's see here. Take a bit of this color, add a bit of a rim light, accentuate the shadow. Take a bit of this. Add 
add a bit more shadow here and then add a bit of rim light and then highlight again and just kind of blend that in now moving on to this part I'm going to darken this part and blend it in at the same time let's go with a bit of a harder brush then kind of just blend that in with the airbrush afterwards clean that up should I keep the I think maybe I should keep a bit of that rough look the rough painterly look uh, remove the sword go up here and slowly blend this out let's go here blend this giant part in darken slowly blend this into this highlight or part <laughs> trying to explain what I'm doing okay let's go ahead and add some more shadow here and add some highlight here with a bit of shadow on that side let's go ahead and add shadow here another let's go for another highlight slash shadow right underneath and then just uh, blend it out ahead and add some shadow here and have the shadow here be more bit more prominent versus the highlight here bit more shadow on this side and then have this part blend 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 let me go ahead and put this shadow and the side highlight delete okay it's starting to look a lot more blended let's go up here and do the same add a bit of this color bring that in there too 
Take a bit of this. Blend that out. Clean that up. And here we have the drape. Kind of. Well, here, down here is the little, a little uh, messy. I'm just going to take a bit of this. Use this as the rim light. And gradually blend that in. Okay. Let me go ahead and clean that up. So the drip is it's kind of uh kind of done ish. I think there could be a bit more refining and whatnot, but for the majority part of it it's pretty much done. I'm just going to highlight some of the areas and brighten them. After I do that, I'm just going to kind of clean it up by erasing some of the harsher edges. Blend it in, and there we have it. Let me lock this down, and I want to see how it will look if I darken that side. Add a bit of blue. Um, pretty much I want her chest to stand out, so I'm gonna go ahead and make make the surrounding area a little darker. Um, maybe I'll add a bit of rim light around. Like that. Alright, so now there's still quite a bit of detail to work on. Her outfit is pretty detailed. Let's go ahead on that part. So what I'm gonna do is these areas is kind of a little too detailed. I mean I could do it manually but it's just so much easier if I just use this as a guide and paint over. It actually looks pretty good as it is. Just gonna clean it up. Okay, let me have a look. See how it properly supposed to look like. Clean it up. Delete. So I would paint over this as well as this area. Okay. Um. What should I call this? Let's move this a bit. Maybe I should move it down a little. Or... Or have put it like halfway down like this. <laughs> Still want to show... Um, bring this up a bit. show a bit of this area let's like call this neck neck accessory I guess so I'll be painting over this add a bit more detail and this part let's see here this part right here is a lot of detail going on here and I need to uh, go ahead down here as well need to work on that too so yeah, I will be back and we shall continue with the rest. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to move the belly button up a bit. And um, let's go ahead and flip the canvas again. I'm going to uh, let's add a bit more 
a bit more what's it called or refine the silhouette a bit uh, I'm gonna see how much I can push it so let's go ahead and paint out that side of the leg definitely want this part to be brightened up and painting the crotch area you know what I've gotten I, I would say I've gotten better at the crotch area you know before I was kind of clueless and I read somewhere on the internet that was back then where I don't know why I actively search uh, for people talking shit about me but now I stopped doing that it's not good for me but I read somewhere that Oh, someone was saying how even though I'm female, my f my anatomy on female character was shit. Which, you know what? Just because you are female doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you know the female anatomy as an artist. And you know that applies to every artist. The more you draw it, the better you are at it. So therefore after drawing a lot more female characters ever since Patron started, I feel like I've definitely gotten a lot better and I kind of know a little bit more about, you know, the 18 plus areas of the female body. <laughs> kind of funny to say. But yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, so now I need to catch up on, you know, the male anatomy. I mean, I know the general gist of male anatomy. I read way too much, you know, 18 plus guy stuff. Um, but that is different. The anatomy for those, you know, uh, stuff is the anatomy for those characters let's just say it's not r too realistic sometimes so I've been using a lot more you know references from uh, photos stuff like that real life photos so it's been a lot better for me and I've been uh, I've been drawing a lot more booty pics which helps me learn about the booty area as well <laughs> um, but yeah let's go ahead and draw the crotch area which I, you know what uh, I was pretty clueless before on how to draw this area because I don't draw it often but it's gotten better let's go go ahead and see what's going on on the leg portion I'm going to bring this down a bit I want to see how her leg is let's go ahead and uh, take a bit of the color from here Take a bit of blue, add that in, line the bone a bit, alright so her leg legging is actually quite complicated, it's got a lot of details, let me remove the sword. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and block in the basic. At least I can do that. And slowly work towards... Uh, slowly work towards rendering it out. So let's go ahead and do a rough kind of placement of where the lace part will be. At least that's what that looks like and most likely I will do one side and flip it over because that is the most efficient way well it's an efficient way to be a bit faster 
I can um, add a bit of my own thing. Let's add a bit of skin tone in there. Let's go ahead and um, go ahead and add that uh, silhouette of the strap on the skin. Add a bit of shadow here, a bit of highlight there. Okay, blend it out. Take this part or take this whole part, copy paste. Just gonna bring bring it down a bit. Bring that down a bit. Bring the shadow down too. As for here, I'm going to take this, bring this down. I'm gonna be pretty subtle about it. Uh, oop, probably something like this. I'm just kind of experimenting on how I'm going to shade that part. I'll bring up, oop, bring up the highlight a bit onto the leotard, contour the belly, and the crotch area. Trying to make it uh, contour the anatomy as much as I can. Clean up that. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And uh, zoom out. And uh, do that. Copy paste, darken, okay, let me flip, merge down or constrain down, let's take a bit of this color, let's add a bit of Okay, maybe not that bright. Let's bring that down here, or at least take this color. Highlight this side. Let's go ahead and blend this out. Let's take this color. And I'm just going to kind of uh, keep going with contouring the anatomy a bit just with uh, updated light lighting and whatnot. Okay, let's add a bit of highlight here. Down here, and I'm gonna take a bit of the skin tone, add it on the bottom. And 
me see how it will look if I change the way the leotard wraps around her. Oh, actually, you know what I could do? I could take this design and kind of imply it up here or something. Actually, you know what? Uh, maybe like this or something. <laughs> kind of just to bring the design throughout her body so it's a bit more consistent. This is another thing I learned from working under a concept artist and I always remember what he told me is that well we were designing more sci-fi stuff but you know the tip still goes uh, when it comes to character design you want to ha if you design you want to have repeated elements throughout the character so uh, it's more consistent that way it's a little matchy matchy but hey it's not f it's not fashion so different rules bring that bring that highlight down a bit I want the audience to feel the protrusion of this hip bone right here I'm just going to make sure it's contoured <laughs> I want this bone to feel like it's popping out. Let's add a bit of highlight here. Let's take a bit of this color, a bit of this color. Actually, maybe I will just go ahead and multiply. Oh, hold on. Multiply layer. Darken that part. Okay. Uh, You know what? I kind of like before a bit more. Hold on, let me flip a bit more. Yeah, actually, uh, maybe the way I have this, maybe it needs to be going up instead, like, like that. Because the flow to me is a bit off. Copy, paste. Warp it this way. Warp it that way. Oh, whoops. I could probably do that for, you know what? We can do something similar to what? Uh, the design on lightning looks like she's got like a front part strap to her like this so maybe we can do that I'm not sure let's see uh, actually hold on let's do this and make this part sheer no okay let's look at the line here maybe I can do something with it zoom in here mm. hmm Let me let me go ahead and blend this in first. 
take a bit of this color. I'm going to be using that. Take lasso this part up. Shadow down there and shadow underneath the chest part. Shadow. Shadow. Add a bit of shadow there too. Mm. Darken this part. Let me see if I need to actually. Uh, nope. Let's do this. Or change, uh, slightly curve it up a bit. Curve up that strap there. contour the belly button with it bring a bit of it down uh, let's uh, take a bit of this color I'm just gonna apply a bit of lighting around the silhouette of the character actually Probably shouldn't even do that. Let's just keep it simple like this. Okay. Let's merge down. Uh, okay, let's keep on layering highlight and stuff. So copy that part. Oh. Uh, I'm going to... Let's take a bit of blue. Add it towards the top area. A bit of beige. Put it towards the bottom area. Oh, whoops. And, uh, let's add a bit of wrinkles. I'm going to try to be a little more detailed, zoom in here, could probably add some, well I'm going to try to add some painterly detail around here, I gotta smooth this area out. Let me merge down, let's go ahead take this bottom part, auto contrast, whoa, auto contrast made it a bit too bright for my liking. So I'm gonna darken it and I'm gonna bring back some of the highlight. Take a bit of this. Take a 
bit of that again. I'm going to add it around the character. So I'm balancing out the character with both warm and cool tone. Okay. Let's take a bit of the cool tone down here. I'm going to contour the stocking and uh, probably gonna be doing similar process so just going to render it, render it out roughly and then go for more detailed paths later she's turning out to look like a f uh, Kingdom Hearts character <laughs> <laughs> kind of has the aqua vibe before after so yeah it's gonna be a lot of passes go to the cape to add Make sure the cape is uh, bright enough so that it stands out from the character itself. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, work on that a bit. The stocking, uh, I mean. Okay, mm. let's do this side because this is my... Uh, preferred side I prefer to paint from the right Ooh, there's quite a bit of detail all right let's do these so let's go ahead and uh, line out uh, bit by bit the basic design patterns for this uh, there's some some designs here I'm just going to roughly sketch it out alongside here and for this side I'm going to be adding a bit of rim light so I'm gonna have to pick a rim light color I'll probably use let's use a grayish tone So let's go ahead and add the rim light towards the right side of of the legging. Let's go ahead do a rough a uh, rough guide of the emblem as well do 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 putting the rough oh my gosh I'm losing so much I mean I'm losing a lot of pressuring my pen more often sketch out the lines and uh, last but not least, let's go ahead and sketch out the blue stocking. One, so like this. And another one. And another one with a strap. And there's some smaller detail in there as well. Um, but yeah, this is a rough. Actually, let me have a proper look at her leggings. Okay, I think her legging is just shiny. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I need to make sure there is enough reflection in her her leg or her boots. Let me go ahead first with uh, adding some lighting to it. I'm going to uh, let's use a bit of this color. Add a bit of shine around here and incorporate it into these design. Take this and I'm just going to contour the leg to add a bit of skin tone, apply it at the very edge. I'm going to focus on uh, rendering out the shape or the volume for this side. Let me rotate again. Okay, just uh, pretending that this is just a whole piece of latex boots. I'm going to cut. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Delete. I cut the leg, put it on a separate layer so I can play around with it. So I might. Uh, I might sort of, you know, change the position of the leg slightly to make it feel more like she's leaning a bit more. Hide. Wait, where is it? Uh, it? Oh, there it is. There's the other leg. Delete. Mm hmm. Let me go ahead and clean up the leg a bit more. Uh, maybe I have to take this leg, tilt this a bit like this. Just kind of changing it up a bit to see which which pose is better. up a bit.
And I think this might be a bit more balanced. I mean, the posture that is of the legs. Actually, maybe I make the other leg go like this. Let me go ahead and flip this and have a look. Yeah, this looks slightly more balanced, I think. Uh, might make the leg just a little bit thicker. I've been trying to hold up on the thickness. For the most part, uh, sometimes I might overdo it. There. Let me go ahead and take this leg it up a bit mm. auto contrast It's getting there, it's getting there. Before pose, after pose. Maybe I should still make that leg cross over a bit more. We'll see, we'll see. Shall we continue the leg area? Um, I did work on this area a little bit mostly just to fi uh, accentuate the posture a bit so I move the tilted her uh, abdomen a little bit to uh, sideways um, but yeah let's go ahead and continue with that all right so let's continue to refine this area and then I will flip this over to the other side and uh, um, kind of uh, edit the lighting a bit um, but yes I believe that is that's gonna be the fastest process of getting the leg area done but first I did also edit the leg area that's why uh, you can see that it's a bit warped so gotta fix it up So I'm going to just um, start blending it together, creating a bit of reflective rendering for this by having shadow highlight and shadow um, pattern. And uh, I'm also going to be adding outer corner glow and just going to contour the silhouette with that color Delete. And 
and just going to add a bit more highlight actually actually you know what remove that okay so i cleaned up this area a bit let me go ahead and keep um rendering out some of these line detail i'm gonna contour that area i think there is a bit of ridge here Let's go ahead and align this. I'm uh, having a look here, so there's another side detail here. Okay, that should be it for that area. Let's keep going with refining this area. I'm gonna be using the lasso tool. Let's go ahead and select this color. I'm going to darken that area. Let's go ahead and fill that in. So I'm going to slowly um, let's go ahead and use solid brown brush slowly render this out uh, fit kind of trying to make um, the design a bit clearer I'm just uh, kind of aligning it first. There. So it's a bit more clear. Let's edit this a bit move it over a bit take this I'll do next I'm just going to select a bit of area here darken it start rendering out the more uh, uh, the the more shiny look on the legging part by adding in more uh, shadow shadow slash uh, highlight so the more shiny an object typically I will kind of render it like how I would render steel or a gold um, bracelet which involves a lot of you know um, shadow highlight shadow pattern 
that's the technical way of doing it. Uh, realistically, those uh, variations between shadow, highlight, shadow would be, you know, a little bit different. It's more organic looking, not like how I have it. Um, but if you're doing a stylized take on it, it's good enough. Or you could uh, aim to be a bit more realistic by using reference. Uh, I want to see how it look if I darken this area. Well, it's definitely a lot cleaner. So this is a rough look for it. What I'll do now is I'm going to copy this design over onto the other side. So I'm going to sort of just copy basically copy be and paste from one side to another as I refine them a bit more. Okay, yes, yeah, you can see here. Probably need to put it up a bit. And uh, see this line of shadow? I gotta, we gotta follow it. So looks like this. I'm just going to darken and copy paste lighten in that area in particular to get that nice um, highlight flow going And uh, at the cape, I'm going to then, you know, just uh, add a bit of the cape color in there so that it feels a bit more reflective. And it's always good to include a bit of the environmental color in there um, especially in shiny material like latex and stuff like that yep uh, still need work but at least at least it's coming along I'm going to accentuate the Actually, nope. Let's go into hue saturation, make it brighter. I'm just going to start uh, adding it in. Okay, now on this side, um, I'm trying to think how I can make it look a bit more, I think what I'll do is, uh, let's take this color, I'm going to add a highlight towards the bottom area.
add a bit of rim light on this side. Add some rim light here. And uh, let's go ahead add some shadow here. Let's flip the canvas. Just kind of looking back and forth to see how it's coming along. Probably move this over a bit. Also, uh, most likely will uh, I will probably have to take this leg and warp it slightly so that it's facing that way a bit. Probably need to figure out what the side looks like. Uh, but other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit more detail onto the leg. This looks slightly better, but let me see if I can edit the lighting for this look to go this way a bit more. Delete. Oh wait, hold on. Flip this again. Mm. Move this down a bit. I'm just kind of uh, moving, moving the leg around a bit. I guess something like this. Smerge down. Merge down and continue to edit. Uh, I'm going to darken this part a bit more. Merge constraint down let's take a bit of this color I'm gonna try to incorporate a bit of the um, drape color in there towards the bottom of the silhouette
I'm just going to contour this look a bit. I want to see how it will look if I added a bit more knee detail. I'm just going to render out the knee here using the airbrush. Uh, I'm going to keep focusing on the uh, beige tone. Just gonna bring it down. Use this color again. Bring this up. Bring that down. Render that out. I'm going to select um, the contour for that leg, adding a bit more shadow. The other leg, I need to figure something out so that so that I can make it stand out a bit more. I guess I could add a bit more highlight here. Delete. Um, let's uh, go ahead over here again, add a layer of shadow, and then around add some more highlight but a more of a blue tone and I'm just going to bring that up all the way throughout the side blend that in and um, let's do let's do copy paste Darken right at the center of the highlight. Um, just kind of testing stuff out, and let's add in highlight inside the shadow. And I'm gonna contour the the knee I'm just gonna highlight the kneecap So this is before, after, and I think I probably need to edit uh, the knee a bit more as well, um, but I'm starting to feel the shininess of her leggings, so at least that's good. Let's do what we did, so we're going to add shadow in the highlight and then highlight again. And probably gonna blend that out eventually. Let's go ahead, take this color, and uh, we'll do another 
shine on the side so we're gonna go for highlight on this side and let's do another line of highlight actually should it be on this side we'll do it like this Just gonna bring the gray tone down. And uh, blend that in. Probably should fade the highlight in a bit. Take this, apply it on top of here. And uh, add a bit of side highlight with this tone here. Alright, and let's see how it will look if I let's darken this area. Darken. It's a little bit more detailed. Uh, definitely needs a bit more work. It's getting there slowly, but her legging is pretty complicated. I'm just uh, seeing how it would look if I didn't have this part. Okay, let's, let's merge down. I'm going to see how it would look if I kind of tighten up the side real quick. Go ahead and delete, I mean darken. Um, actually, let's, um, I'm gonna work on the legs a little later. Let's bring the reference up a bit. And we're gonna tackle this area here. Alright, let's uh, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna take this, paste, let's bring it really close so I can 
Oh, hold on. That's the hand. Okay, now I'm ready since I have that reference really close by. So let's go ahead and um, let's do the rough shape first. I think that should do. Let me fill this in first. Let me go ahead and put shadow underneath. See how that looks. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, warp it. Now, okay, let's zoom in here for this. I feel like I didn't get the shape a um, hundred percent right. Let's go ahead and do that. Just going to paint the pattern. Actually, you know what would have been a bit smarter of me to do was to do one and copy paste it three times. Uh, so yeah, and actually that's a good technique to do throughout um, designing stuff like this where it's repetitive. I guess I just didn't think of it, but. Yeah, I think I, I might do that um, for the next area if there's repeated elements. Should have done that here. Um, but anyhow, let's go ahead and do that. And um, what I can do next, let's go here. I'm just kind of uh, adding a bit more detail to it, kind of like my own little lace detail that I like to do. I always like to make my life a little bit more complicated by <laughs> painting additional details. Um, but yeah, just adding a bit more border to the design, make it a bit nicer looking. And uh, to be honest, it looks uh, quite messy, but hopefully it'll come together in the end. So what I'll do is copy and paste on the other side. And, uh, okay, gotta, oh, hold on. Gotta make sure that it is at the right spot. There. Let me go ahead, copy this, bring it over here. So hopefully this will make my life a little easier. Probably need a better um, reference so I can see what it looks like, you know, around her torso. I think what I'll do next is uh, gonna start cleaning up a bit. So I'm actually gonna make this a bit bigger and probably need to um, play around with the design a bit because the way that I set up my pinup isn't uh, really matching up to the character itself. 
I'm going to take this part, make it a little smaller, bring it in a bit, having a wrapped around kind of deal. The same with here. And actually, this should be a little bigger too. Same for this. Maybe not that big. <laughs> Maybe a bit more like this. I'm going to, okay, so she's got a band around, um, but first let's refine this a bit. So it's supposed to correspond to the seams. So I'm going to go ahead and add another seam here. Go ahead and actually doesn't seem to be matching up too much here. I'm gonna remove it. So just do those two places. I'm gonna bring bring the color, this color right here, down into the lace area and uh, just kind of add a bit more of the detail. Lock it. I'm just going to add a bit of shadow. Just uh, trying to blend it in. Let's take a bit of this color and do the same up here. Take a bit of the yellow. Add it onto each lace detail. some slight bit of shadow to both sides delete I'm just uh, cleaning up here um I'm going to select this area, copy actually both areas. Cop Control Shift C to copy, Control Shift V to paste in place. Gonna darken that area. Erase the bottom and also s erase the top area. Um I just wanted to see how it would look if I Add a bit more shadow to this part. Merge down. And uh, let's have a look see here. Okay. And I also uh, added, kind of uh, worked a little bit on the sleeve. Although it's still pretty messy. Um, let's go ahead and tackle this area. 
let's do this. Let's see how this looks. So it's it goes down like that. Um, oh god, I guess I'll confuse with how the sleeve is supposed to look. I guess I'll kind of connect it like that. So this one will be over the the sleeve here. Okay, let me have a look, see. I'm going to bring this in. Let's go ahead and align this down. Bring it up here. Blend that in. I'm just going to clean up the silhouette here. To paint the line, line it up. Let's go ahead and add the seam detail, which is um, shadow highlight shadow, like this, to give it a bit more volume and stuff. Over here, what I'll do is I'm just gonna do some little scribbles. It just adds a bit more detail, and since I added the seam there, I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and do the same on this side. I'm going to then take this color right here, add it on the darken, darker portion. Like that. bit of this. Actually, let's take uh, a yellowish tone highlight and I'm going to softly add it in here. Okay, now I'm going to go to this side and try my best to clean that up. Okay, uh, I'm just looking at both sides and, uh, hmm, this side, this side needs, uh, I'm trying to think, I think it needs to be a bit more slanted this way. I'm trying to pretty much make sure both sides is matching up properly, basically. Delete, delete. I'm going to take this, copy, paste. I'm 
Let's go ahead and take this color, bring it into the armpit area. Take this color. Oh, bring it up into the sleeve. So I'm just kind of uh, looking at the general design for the sleeve. And uh, hopefully, hopefully I can uh, get a good base going here. And I'm still trying to make sure that the shoulder lines up because I want to make it feel like um, make it feel like her sleeve is a little translucent. So I'm going to use the lasso tool to somewhat line the arm. Let's make it like this. Let me clean up this area then. Merge down. So slowly it's getting there. So I got the lace going already. Let's take a bit of this color, the highlight, and bring it, bring it down. Next phase of this um, process, create another layer underneath. I'm going to do this detail right here. So let's, um, let me do the rough shape. I guess I'm taking a bit of liberty here with uh, <laughs> the design. Uh, I'm going to add a bit of skin tone because that part I think is supposed to be sheer fabric. And align it. And let's go ahead and line this over here. And down below, it's a little different uh, from the original design. And a line there too. And I'm gonna see if I can render it out uh, like latex. Oh, actually it is latex, as latex texture or a little shinier. And there's quite a bit of design on the side, which I think I need a better look at. Mm, it's a little confusing. Okay, so... What I'll do is... I'm gonna start uh, adding some shiny texture with a uh, more highlight and shadow combined I'm going to add some additional wrinkles. Let's go ahead here. And uh, 
let's add some shadow in these areas just kind of uh, trying to increase the overall contrast of the material here Go ahead, add some more highlight. Bring this down. And I'm going to select this, add some more shadow. And around here too, add a bit of shadow. And then uh, start adding in a bit of reflectiveness. Let's go here, add a bit of reflectiveness as well from the environment let's blend this in let's do it before and after before after <laughs> I'm going to flip the canvas It's getting there, it's getting there. Still uh, not to the point that I want. I'm going to select that part. Let's go ahead and control C, paste saturation really brighten it up lock it in lock in the layer let's go ahead and darken that up just by a bit let's do this see what kind of interesting effects we can achieve with this there let me go ahead and uh, erase a little bit of it Let's see how that looks. So it does make the overall piece a bit more shiny. Um, just um, why I did that, I kind of wanted to experiment, see what I can come up with. Sometimes, uh, actually a lot of times when I paint, I just kind of randomly try stuff. Well, trying uh, different techniques that I've learned in the past see if it works or not and I think it worked out for here I just need to keep going now I'm gonna take the skin tone or this color add it underneath and I'm gonna do a dark thing here and then another light thing inside let's see how that looks I'm just trying everything, trying all the ways, all the techniques, even though it doesn't make sense in my head, I'm just like, okay, let me try this pattern. Hopefully it'll look good. 
I'm just gonna render out this part. Go ahead and do that. Zoom out real quick. One, two. Just uh, so this is the progression of the the torso here. Um, okay, what else can I do? Let's go ahead and let's add a trim here and also I'm just going to tighten up the belly button area. Let's take a bit of this, actually this color. Let's take here. Oh, actually, I see. Okay. I need to move the belly button up a bit. And then follow by merge down. What's this? Okay. And follow by this emblem right here. And it's going to be gold. Go ahead and do a bit of thickness. I'm trying to make sure that it uh, conforms to conforms to how the skin is bending and stuff, maybe. Put it here. Probably need to put it like around here. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take this, copy paste or paste, bring bring this down a bit. Actually, let's just keep it there. Bring this down here where the belly button is. Copy paste. There. Let's rotate this, have a look. It's getting there. 
just need to be slowly <clears throat> slowly rendered out a bit more gonna take a bit of this color bit of this lock it in take a bit of that color and just going to layer on shadow and highlight probably need to be a bit more shinier let's put a bit more shine on this side going to line this part here so I'm gonna select a few parts from the belly button area darken it take a bit of the skin tone bit of the skin tone add it up there as highlight and I'm going to bring the highlight down trying to bring in a bit of that color down here but it uh, wasn't working as well as I thought it would so yeah it's trial and error trying out if that color would look good in that area or not I'm gonna see how it would look if I bring in bring it in here copy paste let's darken this area a bit Let's do this, uh, grab a bit of that color, put it on this side, and blend both areas together. Like that. Like that, just bring down the blending. Let's take a bit of the highlight. Let's see how that looks. I think I'll lower the opacity a bit and uh, probably keep it like that merge down so this is the work I did for the 
torso area definitely needs more work overall but yeah it's getting there it's getting there let's proceed to working on the head a little the hair is a little tricky so uh, I'm not sure if I wanna paint everything on one layer or not let me let's see I have to make sure that this part is prominent so this is over here Let me go ahead and start. I'm gonna use a bit of the color from the reference. I'll start adding some highlight around this area. go ahead and do that I think uh, you know what I think I'm gonna go ahead cut face let's go ahead and do that have the hair on a separate layer? Let me lock this down, so add a bit of this color in. Add, grab a bit of this color. Let's do this. Add a bit of highlight down here. This is where the nose is gonna be. I'm gonna try to go for more of an anime look, so so it's gonna. Let me go ahead and line that quickly sketch out the face or at least as fast as I can let's do this <laughs> kind of uh being rough here. Let's put the whites of the eyes. I will come back to edit the the eyes. Hmm, eyes a bit too big. <laughs> Just gonna resize them. And I'm going to go ahead do the mouth. Probably lower the eyebrows. Add a bit of cheek highlight there. Next up is trying to
darken the face a bit on that area. And uh, I'm going to make the nose a little smaller. Going for that anime look. Edit the eyes. Let's take this color. Grab a bit of a rosier tone on the face, blend that out, take a bit of this dull color. And uh, let me go ahead and add shadow here on the nose. Let's uh, merge down, take the entire part, bring it down a bit. Bring up the lip, go to the hair and uh, work on the hair. This part needs to be lower just gonna move around move the head around make this go down a bit maybe this will help if I do this I think the hair is supposed to be a bit tighter against her head. Go to the hair layer. Let me remove this side. Hair. The head needs to be just a bit bigger. So I guess this is the base for the face. Zoom in here. I'm just going to slowly render out the eyes and stuff. I'm just going to borrow the colors that's in the reference. in the middle bring the eyelid down a bit merge down bring the eye up a bit Gonna warp this down a bit more. 
<laughs> it's a lot of uh, changing the position of the face and whatnot. Take this. Let's go ahead and wrap the hair around the face. going to just um, make her eyes look up a bit more I'm just going to oh wait am I painting on the oh whoops let me go ahead cut merge down to the face Let me just make the hair a bit tighter against that side of the face. and grab a bit of highlight, put it on the hair. Let's accentuate the hair flip the side. this color okay just looking at it okay let me see how it would look if I let's make the face a little bit smaller and warp it down a bit And as for the eyebrows, I'm just going to soften it up a bit. And uh, take, take a bit of the highlight color. And I'm going to darken underneath here we're gonna have take a bit of the highlight color oh whoops add a bit of it on the nose softly blend it onto the rest of the face And then as for the rest of the face, copy paste, I'm going to darken that the selection that I just did. Let me go ahead and kind of work on the hair a bit.
bring this down a bit. Bring it down, merge down, let's go into this hair layer on the back. I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, shape for the hair in the back. There. Rotate, flip it. I mean, reset the. F rotate. So this is first pass for the hair. It's kind of rough, but it's getting there. I'm going to make the head a little bigger. Move it up. And also trying to make sure the hair makes sense. So, um, let me take a bit of this color right here, the bluish tone, and let's go to color. Let's add it on the top part of the face. Add a bit of warm tone on the bottom of the face, like that. Okay, that's looking pretty anime. Yeah, it's getting there. Let's go back onto the hair. And uh, I'm going to slowly slowly incorporate some highlight up here let's add it on top here take this Put it on the curl and I'm gonna take the same highlight and bring it on here as well. What I'll do is take this, copy paste, darken. I'm gonna take a bit of the beige. And add it onto the hair. Blend this in. I'm gonna take a bit of this color. I'm 
now back to here let's blend this in uh, take a bit of this color just gonna graze this slightly on top Same for here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the emblem design. Let's take this. Bring it down. I'm going to uh, keep blending in the shadow over here. On this side, let's move this a bit over to this tone let me go ahead and darken that before after let me make the hair part a bit bigger blend this out Let me go ahead and paint out the lips. I'm just going to blend out the shadow. Go ahead and include the lashes. Oh, might be a bit too big. I'm gonna have to play around with the eyes too. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So off camera, I went ahead and rendered the face out a bit more to how I like it. Uh, still kind of working on it. I might. So this is. I kind of uh, moved the face down a bit, but. I'm still working on the face. There's still areas where I think could be better, so I will be working on that slowly. Um, also cleaned up the chest area and also rendered out the uh, leggings a bit, um, but definitely still needs quite a bit of work. So yeah, let's uh, continue with that. So for this recording uh, part, I would like to focus on the sleeve area, which uh, I've been neglecting till now. I've only added a tiny bit of detail, but there's still a lot of things that I need to add. So what I'll do is I'm just going to copy the sleeve part. I'm going to make it a little bigger and I'm just going to plop it right on top of 
the sleeve that I'm working on. And uh, so with the reference uh, pretty close by, I think it's a little easier for me to render it out. So I'm going to go ahead and start rendering out the details of the sleeve. And I did want to make the sleeve a little translucent, so there's going to be uh, somewhat of a slight uh, tweaking color. So um, I'm going to try to follow the design, at least the uh, basic line work for the sleeve. And let's go ahead and do that uh, just to go with that um, golden emblem right there. Just gonna go with a lighter color quickly, kind of rough out the uh, basic shape for it, basic shadow for it. And uh, as you can see, let's go ahead and add the design for the sleeve. I'm going for the gray part here. Just going to darken slightly. And uh, each area, we're going to go ahead and put the emblem. So it's not really following uh, the actual sleeve design too carefully. I mean, I uh, this part is supposed to be much lower. Uh, let me put this a bit lower. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start uh, let's put use a bit more. Actually, should I should I use a little more of a yellowish tone for the bottom part of the sleeve. I think I will. So what you see there sometimes that uh, my tablet lose pressure. My Cintiq. Uh, um, yeah, it's becoming really hard to work with uh, the lack of pressure from time to time. Um, Let's go ahead and add the highlight towards the bottom area and keep the blue uh, kind of on the side here. Yep, have to undo that. And just going to add some more wrinkles. Yeah. And uh, let's take this color that's already there. I'm going to be using that to blend this out. Take a bit of this, bring it, bring it over a bit. Oh, okay. I'm going to then Take this delete. Cleaning up the silhouette a bit. It was a little bit messy. And uh, let's go ahead and sort of line out where the arm is. try to find where the arm fold is. So now <laughs> you can kind of tell that the arm looks a little bit too long compared to where she's supposed to kind of turn her arm. So what I'll do is merge everything down. We have to bring up this part. I want to see if I can give her like poofy sleeve. Or maybe not that poofy, but we'll see how poofy we can make it. So, 
so it's gonna be kind of uh, like this. Oh, hold on. Her arm is gonna bend like this. And then it goes into the poof. Like that. And, uh, okay, so there's quite a bit of detail for her sleeve. Um, so I think what I can do is... Let's kind of, um, do it layer by layer somehow. Let's, let me use the lasso tool. So, one, two, three. Two. And the third one, I'm going to put it here, maybe. So I'm just roughing out the shape first. Rough it out, and then align it. Sorry about that. Go ahead and uh, add that in and delete, delete, and let's do this one. And uh, that should be that. So I, I um, have the basic shape down. Now I just have to perhaps um, brighten this area because it is kind of blending into the background which need uh, that part needs to stand out a bit more in order for in order for it to be a bit clearer. So there we go uh, the shape for these that part. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this part of uh, the design, which is, which is going to be a little tricky. Um, make a new layer just in case I mess up. Again, I'm just going with the rough shape of it. Let me go ahead and make this part. A little bit more blue and probably here too and so kind of blended into oh hold on use airbrush blended into blended into the shape there Let me go ahead and continue this. Actually, I probably should have a closer look. Oops. Alright, got that going. Let me make it a little brighter. And... create another layer and I'm gonna be adding in the other areas. I'm gonna go ahead and do this type of shape. So I'm gonna try to see if I can make it more of a ruffle style, but uh, we'll see if I have to end up changing it or not. But let's give it a try for now. Lock, lock it in. Then gonna go in here and start let's go ahead and make it dark in here let's go ahead and do this add highlight actually it might uh, 
Looks a little messy. Let me go ahead and remove that part. Add a bit more in here. Take a bit of this. And uh, for each of these little ridges here, I'm going to be highlighting them. And these area, I'm going to add shadow. So that's just a pretty kind of a basic um, base for the inside. Um, definitely still need a bit of work, so I'm gonna zoom in here. So it looks like this in the official design, um, but gonna try to make it a little more interesting with some ruffles. So for each of the ruffles, we're gonna go go in and try to refine somehow. I'm kind of not very um, having trouble with it a bit. Um, I think I'll need a slightly brighter color. And we'll just do this bit by bit. Light and take the highlight and we'll use the highlight to contour each of the folds a bit uh, more clearly and as we do that i'm gonna go in to clean up the oh, hold on clean up the area bit by bit let's take this and here I'm gonna contour it on the side let's go here let's go ahead and contour So now it's looking a bit more uh, ruffly. So I'm gonna just select that area in particular since that's already rendered and I'm gonna try to see if I can cheat a little. <laughs> Let me just replicate this. Actually, It looks pretty, looks better than what I had before. Oh, hold on, whoops. Let's duplicate this. Bring it up. Might need to um, warp it. Since uh, if I don't warp it, it's gonna it might look a bit too uh, replicated or copy paste. So paint over a little bit. As for this area, uh, I think what I'll do is do this. And for up here, uh, actually, let me see how it would look. Can we do that up here too? Oh, I guess you can, but then I would have to. Um, let's merge this down for a bit. So if I were to do that up here too, let me go ahead and sort it do that oops lock that 
that in. It's looking very ruffly. Let me see if I can slightly change it up a bit by warping it. here fill it in it's kind of messy um, but let's try with this and so as you can see the back area is kind of covered so I'm just gonna select this whole part and warp it upwards Warp it, actually, in, yes, warp it a little bit up. I warped it up so it's showing a bit better. And then what I'll do is selectively, I'm gonna copy these parts, copy and then paste overlapping this area and then what I'll do is take a dark color oh, hold on, dark color and add shadow underneath I guess I could uh, do another one of this Take the ruffle Make it a bit poofier So this is where I'm gonna have the the hand Let me just quickly um, Quickly do a little rough outline for the One, two, three, four Gotta count the fingers You know, don't wanna do another six finger just roughly do the hand where it is and the sword probably gonna try to move it a little bit apart from the legs maybe here move the hand over here Move it over a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and fill this up and just do this type of pattern now oh, the sleeve is very poofy looking okay then what I'm gonna do is let's take actually uh, go up here and I'm gonna start rendering out uh, God, the loose of pressure is uh, very, very inconvenient. Let's just say. <laughs> let's go ahead, add a few more wrinkles, folds, and what I'll do is take this part. lift it up I want to see how this will look lift it up uh, close 
close that shadow. And uh, add a bit more shadow to that part. Trying to see if I can create a bit of. What if I can do this? Okay. Let me go ahead and do this, see how that looks. That's not too bad. Merge down. So now it looks like this. It kind of looks like a mess, but but I'm uh, slowly working, working on it because uh, her sleeve is not this poofy, but I think it would look regal if her sleeve was poofy, kind of like the Victorian in the old in the um, Victorian area. <laughs> sorry, era with all the super roughly and laced up gowns that type. Hopefully, I'm not like wrong about that. Might be something else. I mean, it might be another period. Um, Let me see if I can put this down a bit. Okay. And I'm gonna select that area. Make it brighter. And darken slightly the inner part like that so now it's it's kind of blending to the background so I have to darken it I have I have to bring it down a bit see how that looks uh, maybe okay I guess well I think I will be okay with this and let's remove the sword and the hand and there we have it so now I have to make sure that the the arm is actually you know um, so I can make her kind of maybe like this it could be bending like that let me go ahead and that. I'm gonna select this color. Let's highlight that side. Take this color. I'm just gonna highlight. under each of the petals I think for this I can maybe do something like that hopefully it works out too how I want it kinda doesn't look like it makes too much sense right now and I'm losing pressure in my tablet constantly <laughs> Which is very co time consuming. Delete. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Um. And what I'm gonna do next, let me select this area and I'm going to be kind of just using this area as texture, like a uh, full texture. So I wanted to include more of that fold 
especially where the sleeve is being uh, her hand is being turned against us so so that it feels a little more a little more uh, organic feeling so I'm gonna go ahead and oh god this is annoying <laughs> line each area after I line it I'm going to the more yellowish tone and just gonna add that So here, so it's gonna be like a metallic metallic tip. Let's go ahead and do that. Take this color so I can render out the metallic texture for the tip. Right now it's not very clear that this is metal, so I'm gonna go in, add some shadows. and do that take a bit of this let me go ahead and just add a bit of highlight onto the petal and then add shadow over it and uh, I'm gonna go ahead add a, some more highlight to make this area a bit shinier okay and uh, could probably use one here Let's go ahead and put down the basic color, add a darker color for the shadow, highlight here, select on top, I'm gonna go ahead and Add uh, fill in the uh, petal and just add a little bit of shadow there. Let's go ahead, do that, add a bit of shadow underneath. I'm going to just uh, clean up the silhouette a bit while I'm at it. Okay, so now I have this kind of done-ish. So next, what I'm gonna do is uh, try to at least line out this area. So this is kind of like the rough shape of how it, that's supposed to look. And let's do it here too. Shall we continue? So, uh, lined it, 
gonna use it as a guide for me to use the lasso tool to roughly roughly uh, kind of outline where I'm gonna put um, the detailing for that after I do that use the lasso tool again I'm just gonna select oh hold on Lock it down, select the outer surface. Let me go ahead and render it out. I'm just going to add a bit of shadow on the other side. Continue to add a bit more shadow in these areas as well. Delete. I'm just going to go ahead and render some of these areas out. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to go back in to line it. Alright, so now, now we have to work on this area, so there's uh, some design going on there. I'm actually going to try something here. Uh, since it's all line work, I'm going to see if I can do a setting real quick for my stroke by going to blending options and let's do stroke um, 2 percent maybe this color and then blending options opacity so now I think I think I can go ahead and do the design and what I'll do is go here turn off transfer color dynamic and I'm gonna go for pen pressure oh hold on pen pressure and make both us uh, ends taper and I'm <laughs> just trying my best to uh, do this somehow uh, let's do this 
still a little messy. Um, Photoshop, well, I have an earlier version of Photoshop, but I know Clip Art Studio probably uh, has a better setting for this, but I guess this is what I can do with Photoshop. It's not as great as I thought it would be, but at least it's something. Let's do this on both sides. Yeah, Photoshop doesn't have uh, as much pen pressure compared to Clip Art Studio. But that goes with uh, any Japanese art programs. They usually have way better pen pressure than Photoshop and any uh, more American art programs like actually maybe Procreate is good too I'm not sure if that's Japanese or American but yeah Photoshop definitely doesn't have the best I'm gonna go ahead and clean it, clean it up a bit I mean it's not that bad <laughs> Let me constraint and I'll do multiply. Lower the opacity a bit. Yeah, it's not, I mean, it's all right. It's not that great. Uh, let's go to blending options, stroke. Oh yeah, it's not that smooth. Let's go ahead and use a bit of blue tone. Lower opacity. Merge down. Let's go here. Copy paste. Make it brighter. Slowly erase. And I'm going to go back, normal, select this color. Let's do it at the side here, add a bit of those colors. Merge down. And this part, uh, let's go here and make sure that it shows through the ruffle color. Let me go back here, bring back my old setting. Oh, goodness. Well, it looks like Photoshop lost pressure here. Off. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. What? That's strange. But usually when there's a little exclamation mark, it usually means that, well, at least past experience, it usually means it lost, it loses lost the pressure but I guess it didn't which is good for me just gonna select that one area and make it bright merge down back to here so I'm just gonna select a few of this area and then brighten it up to to have a bit of a nice contrast and to really show where the light source is coming from let me go here <laughs> it, the sleeve looks so messy copy paste Darken, lower the opacity. Yeah, definitely looks really messy. Let's go here, make a new layer, and I'm gonna just uh, do that X. Gonna put it on the arm. Gonna use this color. Let's indicate it a little bit underneath the sleeve. Uh, erase it slightly. Let's 
merge down. And as you can see, I also quickly worked on the side of the sleeve just to speed things up. I think what I'll do is after I'm satisfied with the render for this area, which right now I think it needs more work because it's quite messy. But after uh, I render that area out a bit, what I'll do is I'm going to copy paste uh, using it as a texture on the other sleeve. Hopefully that will speed things up. I'm going to go ahead, select, copy paste, lower opacity. Just going to highlight it slightly and then select the bottom, copy paste, darken. Let's go ahead and do this. Take a bit of this, add it there. Add a bit of shadow underneath here. Just get a nice highlight down here under each fold of the fabric. And to generally blend blend things, also gonna go into each of um, this crevice here and take this color, add it in. Just trying to sharpen that area a bit, make it look a bit more interesting. And. Uh, just kind of looking back and forth to see what I can do. I'm gonna select on the top here, highlight it, select, darken, Darken around that border. I guess that should do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and then while I'm at it, clean up the silhouette here for the chest. Let's let's add a bit of that highlight down here. Take this, blend it in. Gonna select the outer corner, take a bit of this color, let's take a bit of the shadow, take a bit of this, Just kind of in general uh, cleaning it up and take this color. Let's do that. Take a bit of this color. I'm just going to use it to accentuate the highlight on this side. And okay, I, th 
think that should be it for that side, hopefully. Actually, maybe the chest needs to be darker. Make it darker, lock that in. Let me take this color. And then this color at the very end. And then uh, clean that up. I'm gonna go select around the chest and make sure that it's a little darker surrounding it so it, it stands out more actually maybe I should keep it darker Never mind. <laughs> Let's go around here. I'm gonna use a bit of this color, the blue color. Could be a bit more blue to accentuate the chest and the sleeve separation. blend that in mm. it's a little sharp here uh, now I'm gonna go down here and figure out something for the side Copy. Let me grab another reference picture for that area. Just gotta have it nice and clear what's going on on the side. Bam. Okay, so this is the design. I have my new layer already created. So let's see what I can do here. Okay, so basically... So let me go ahead and do... The basic shape. Do this plus one shape here and it's supposed to kind of go like that so I'll go ahead and line that part okay so we get the small and then the big part Okay, and I'm gonna have a look at how it looks here. Whoops. Bring this down. Might be a bit. Actually. Actually, let me see how it would look if I add it one more detail like this. Let's line it up. Uh, 
okay, so I have the rough guide done. I'm going to test 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 it out and see which uh, way will look better. Uh, which way it's wrapped will look better on her. Bring it down. And that uh, there is a bit of covering here. Actually, mm, I guess I'll just have it like this. Go ahead and there. Uh, okay, so it's got she's got a bit of design over here. Just uh, gonna line it up first. Creating a bit more, uh, or contouring it actually. And then what I'll do is Oh actually this is supposed to be like okay. I guess I'll do it this way. Actually, doesn't look very good like this. Okay, now I'm ready to see if I can. So I decided on this pattern. So after, uh, after doing a rough base for for this area time to add highlights and stuff so um, let me take a look see if I can borrow any colors let's go ahead and take the color that's already there in the leotard and I'm just going to add it to the line well, to the um, base that I have going on. Let me go ahead and select this part. Hold on. Oh no, select this part. Make it a little darker. So the rest of the area is going to be in highlight. After, I'm just going to... Oh, goodness. Going to line underneath. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and gonna start. Kind of just uh, adding a bit of highlight to this area, which uh, is covered by sheer dark fabric. I'm just gonna start slowly by cleaning up each section, as well as adding. The uh, 
some sort of thickness basically. Let me go ahead and darken this up. Grab a bit of this. Darken that up. Delete. Okay, so I'm just gonna slowly refine and add details and stuff. Um, use a slightly brighter tone so that I can add a bit of tr uh, thickness to this side. So I'm gonna have the highlight towards um, the silhouette and then the shadow underneath like that. And I guess I'm gonna lock it, take a bit of this color. Highlight up. Let's go ahead and uh, add a bit of skin tone to some of these areas. Let's add it onto this side. Take a bit of this color. Oh, whoops. Same here. Kind of just add some highlighting some of these areas. And then uh, let's go ahead and I guess what I can do is do one side. One side first, paste, paste onto the other side, merge down, edit a little, lock it down, and paint. Uh, kind of just add some rough design to it. Use a dark color. Go ahead and let me just go ahead and take that color. So, um, just kind of establish the basic outline, I mean, basic highlight and stuff here. So, it's quite rough, but but yeah, and then plop it on top. I see that this is uh, s supposed to be separate. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, put it on top. Ooh, is this the perfect area to put a garter belt? Because I can see that it's sticking out. Can I do this? I'm gonna try it out. How would it look? That actually. Um, I don't know. Let me, let me do the shape. See how that looks. 
Uh, what if I kind of move it like this? Or something? Mm. And I'll do another strap like that. What if I moved it? If I had it on the side, how would it look? Uh -oh. If I had it on the side... It might look better. Which means... Let me take this and tilt it a bit more towards the side here. Oh boy. Uh, which means I gotta figure something out for here. Um, what if I just do this and have uh, empty area here. I guess that would work. Hopefully, I mean, I probably need to. Play around with it a bit more. And also need to. Put this here. And change the guard bell position. Maybe something like that. Actually, yeah, that looks more interesting, I would say. Hmm, the detail is a bit too small now. Let me make this a bit bigger. This part. Oh, maybe it can go the side. Around the side area. Okay, I guess this this will have to do. It's definitely a little bit of my own interpretation. Let me increase the thickness of this part here. Try to make sure it's consistent and what I'll do is add some more straps. Uh, nope. Would it look better if I add it like that? Oh. Mm. Nah, let me go ahead and do this. Fix it on this side. and bring a line in just like the other side bring it a bit closer i always have to make it uh, make my life a bit more complicated okay this side is supposed to be a little bit wider Let me go ahead and widen it. And then bring it... Hold on. Uh, and what I'll do is go liquefy. And just kind of bring it in on the other side. Oh wow, okay, it really brought it in. 
Um, but we're gonna have to actually wait. I'm going to just warp it a bit more now. Alright, I think that should do it. Still not. Maybe it was better before. Undo, undo. Okay, let's go see how it was before. So it was like that before. I think I'll just. Oh, hold on. Where is it? Maybe I'll just keep it this way with no garter belt. Put this up a bit. Mm, put this down. Mm, honestly, uh. I am not sure. Maybe I can do like a same concept here up here. So it has to be thicker. I uh, guess bring it down a bit more. Lock it down. Hopefully I can make it work. Uh, honestly, just not too sure about the whole thing, but this is what happens. Usually I try a bunch of stuff and kind of trying to feel if it's going well or not, you know. Put one on this side. I think uh, just having another repetition of the design on this side makes um, the other side not look too bad although I do feel that you know what I need to let me liquefy I need to move this over a bit more oh I don't think okay hold on I will probably need to Move this over like this, and then going to liquefy and slowly bring this in and repeat warp it to fit so that I can uh, tilt this over a bit more just want to make sure it matches the the other side okay I think that should do oh hold on and then basically fix the part that is kind of messy again delete add
like that. I might add a bit of lace design here, but yeah. Uh, let's do this. Copy paste. Darken. Lower. Lower opacity. Yeah, sorry. Lower opacity. Okay, I think. I think that's uh, getting there, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably put a bit of lace design here. Side design. All right. What can I do here or here? I'll think of something. Um. Welcome back guys. So this recording, I did work on the face a little off camera, but for this recording, we're gonna work on her collar, this area. Also, as you can see, I grabbed a, basically, I think it was like a JPEG. It wasn't a 3D model, but yes, I did grab this on the internet because um, her sword is very detailed and it would be a lot easier to just paint over, so I did that, and I added some basic lighting. Um, and most likely I will be kind of painting over it slightly to make it fit the style that I'm going for a bit more. Um, also kind of uh, worked on um, this area a little. Make it a bit cleaner. Oh, I need, probably need to clean this up. Oh wait, what? That's strange. Let me delete this part. There. So yes, um, I played around with the proportions a little. Um, I kind of just, I don't know if I explained this, but I did decide to cut the top torso and have the bottom area separate so I can kind of uh, play around with the proportion like higher, lower, and stuff like that. So yeah. Shall we continue on here? So I'm going to remove the hair for now. So I can work on the collar area, which is actually quite detailed. Also, good news is that I finally... I had to repurchase uh, my tablet. I uh, upgraded from the 21 UX, which is a very old model Cintiq, to 24 HD. Uh, it was the 24 inch on their website. Got it off Amazon. Uh, it got shipped within a couple of days, and I am doing this recording after I receive my Cintiq. And uh, to up to give you guys a quick view of the 24 u 24 inch Cintiq model that they have, you can pretty much uh, control set kind of the color gamma for the display and the contrast um, through a button that will pop up a screen on your. Uh, that you can slide up and down with your mouse instead of having to adjust it via the actual tab, actual Cintiq. So that was good. And also the pressure is consistent again um, since they do have a update drive for this model. But yeah, uh, all in all, I'm happy with it. It's definitely a lot better than my old Cintiq, which is the 21UX. Although a lot cheaper, it just doesn't have the um, drive support anymore so it's kind of obsolete you could say because there's no drive update for it sad I uh, can't even give it away because if you have like the most recent version of window the tablet is gonna just bug out so that really sucks so I'm not sure what to do with it I'll probably probably give it away but I will have to warn the person that, yeah, the pressure is, the drive is like old and it will never be updated again. 
Alright, so after cleaning up this area, um, let's go ahead and start. So, basically, well, what I'm gonna start off with is, let's go ahead and start lining it. This is the easiest uh, thing we could do for this phase. So I'm just going to... Oh wait, did that just lose pressure? Oh god. Um, so the way I have it painted is slightly different from what's up here. But I'm still going to try to kind of indicate some similar features to the original design. So let's go ahead and put the color design the white trim on the collar next we're going to add the star emblems to approximate location for the collar let's go ahead and do that and then another approximate design this this part is a bit short compared to that side so what i'll do is copy this side copy Control shift c Control shift v to paste and just increase the size of the flap on the side And go ahead and start adding the uh, design elements. This is going to be a bit lopsided. Uh, okay, let's go with this. So, this side is a little bit need of some shadow just to kind of contour mostly the neck so next what I'll do is I'm gonna take the collarbone and use that as a guide to kind of highlight the collarbone a little Let me go ahead and take a slightly brighter color. Just gonna contour underneath the the shadow. Giving structure to the shoulder area. And I'm just gonna extend this over a bit. And similar with um this, I'm gonna go ahead and add another flap here. And after, what I'll do is... I'm gonna go ahead and... Start adding in some uh, detail like grooves and uh, seams and whatnot. So shadow here, I'm just going to replicate that shading model right on here. And there's gold design on her uh, side flap for that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Adding a thick gold trim on the side here. Like that. And of course, um, let me go ahead, lock down that area. I'm going to be adding some more shadow here and bring it in all the way down to the second flap although i think this one should be uh, adjusted slightly let's make it like this 
and what I'll do next this gold trim should be a bit tilted like here and as for this area I'm gonna add a bit of highlight at the part where it's folded folding Fo folding and um <coughs> Excuse me. Um, select this part. Let's go ahead and blend that out. So this is the armpit. I'm going to paint a shadow into kind of contouring the how the arm is gonna be folded, kind of more or less. Go ahead and shade that part. Let's go here, extend the trims down. Just gonna add the detail details now. So this is where the the collarbone is. I'm just going to indicate it ever so slightly over here. Take the highlight, put a bit here, just a little separation between the dip of the collarbone area connected to the shoulder. And then after, select underneath this area, and I'm gonna further accentuate um, the collarbone. Let's add a little dip here. See how that looks. And uh, select underneath. Alright, so now it's all about detail work. Um, just gonna keep adding adding the same detail to each of the individual flap, which is um, kind of just highlight, shadow, highlight, that type of pattern. And we'll just have to keep that up here too. Okay, let me go ahead and do the shape and just glaze over it with the with a dark color select outside of the silhouette around the silhouette or so I should say to add a bit of a blue for rim light let me pop up the uh, hair so this is what it's actually gonna look like I guess I should do it like this. Okay, so I have that. I have the hair popped up again so I can kind of uh, apply shadow, uh, trying to make sure that it fits uh, the elements that's surrounding. I'm just uh, adding some rough shadow to the star emblems. I wonder if I should do here too, but uh, the actual design, it, it's a flat design on these little parts, but you know, maybe it'll look fancier if I added the shadow. I'm just going to bring a bit of that out. So if we remove the hair, oh man, let's go ahead and add that extra part there, even though, <laughs> even though 
it's a lot bigger than the other side oh well so after adding a bit of shadow it's starting to stand out a bit more i would say i kind of like where it's going so next up um after shadow is highlight i'm just going to add some little bits of highlight throughout the design and um I'm kind of just trying out a bunch of combination for the highlight not exactly you know doing doing it according to where the highlight is and or whatnot just kind of um this is basically uh, a formula you you could say so basically trim and then highlight on the side same with the stars there so it's a little more 3d looking and uh, continue to add the seams there's the seams are very pronounced on that design so I'm gonna try my best to do that and uh, it's okay to be a little messy at this uh, at this percentage so this is a hundred percent i'm painting at a hundred percent uh view of the canvas of course this is not going to be the final when you post it online usually you do almost either half or one third of it so that you won't see all the tiny little brushstroke details So I'm uh, pretty much highlighting according to the, uh, what's it called? The shoulder blade, yes. Let me bring a bit of the blue onto the collar on, on the side. Let's take this. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take, let's merge down, create a new layer, let's take a brighter color, and I'm gonna try something, kind of just add it, trying to add it and see how it will look if I add it towards the, you know, the space where the collarbone is at. and add that there at the very dip area this over this is just some extra scene detail that I'm gonna be adding just as a extra element see how that looks it's just to uh, make this color area a bit more interesting you could also uh, kind of you know add a bit more volume to the white trim here or gray trim uh, just to make the area a bit more interesting you can even add a bit of shadow to it as well let's go ahead use a brighter color and scribble a bit of design i'm gonna place place it towards the top so this will make it look a bit more metallic and a bit more 3d like and then i'm gonna go um, with a darker brush and i'm just going to apply 
a bit of shadow around each of the emblems even here I can do that uh, might be a bit too bulky I'm gonna remove it just wanted to try it out see if it's gonna look good or not so yeah just experiment um, create a new layer take the hair color use the airbrush I'm just gonna slightly brush it like that this is gonna act as some sort of uh, reflective light on the collar area <coughs> excuse me from the hair also it's also I'm trying to see how it would look if I had modified the material to make it slightly shiny or glossy so see how that would look with the rest of the picture let's go ahead and do this gold trim here I'm going to add shadow into the trim this is a darker shadow add that in <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of highlight to the edge of the flap let's kind of blend this side in make it a little interesting do a little pattern and then blend the rest of that in I'm going to go ahead and try to match it to this so we're going to add a bit of highlight here and this is where the seam I mean the fold is Let me go ahead and darken that area. So that's how it, that's gonna look. Just a little bit more detail. And uh, let's go ahead and add a bit of the dark border for this side. bit more highlight here since we have the dark border on this side gotta do it on the other side too so now that we have that uh, merge down again and I'm gonna try to see if I can have some sort of concentrated highlight over here so select that area make it a little brighter use the erase tool I'm going to erase the shadow for the some of these detail like the trim and the trim and stuff lower the opacity go back to this copy paste I'm going to brighten it merge down and just kind of blend the detail in a bit more so this would be a good base for this area mm, not sure what else I could do probably make a new layer let's take a bit of the skin tone and 
and add it as a thin highlight. on the, some of these areas just kind of uh, bring this color downward a bit the lasso tool bring it upward take a bit of this bring it up a bit onto here Take a bit of that color again. I'm going to add it underneath these little areas. Same for here, it's going to indicate it a bit. Let's darken this, make that area a bit brighter. Add some more highlight on this part in particular so I'm going to try to see if I can make sure this part is in shadow and I'm just going to blend that out um, add a bit of the blue tone I'm going to apply it on top of the beige tone add some highlight to the star emblems this is where the hair is going to reflect on that side of the color add a bit more beige um, merge down then I'm gonna select this side Auto contrast to make it a bit more, make it stand out a bit more. Erase the surrounding to blend it in. Okay, that's, I guess that's that for, for that area. It's a little bit more detailed. Probably could use a bit more sprucing up and whatnot, um, but it's a good base to start off from. I think this needs to be a bit bigger. gonna highlight the seam on both sides a bit more copy paste copy paste brighten up merge down create a new layer take this color gonna add it on the outer edge of that area same with this add it towards this side
and uh, I can also remove some of these highlight let me go ahead and add a second layer of highlight and uh, let's do it here I'm going to use the lasso tool, tool for this instance and I'm just going to highlight one side and let me choose this color and the other side make it that color after that After that, I just have to kind of uh, paint back some of these areas or blend this area a bit more. Let's add a bit of skin tone here, skin tone highlight here. Uh, bring back the darker color after the skin tone color before after just makes it a bit more detailed i guess you could say <laughs> 